Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Connect with Gia. I am Gia myself and I am a spiritual teacher and an energy expert. I always like to give a friendly reminder before I begin in full discussion that everything being discussed here is from a spiritual aspect that can be applied to your life very practically, but again, from a spiritual perspective. So you may struggle to understand and comprehend some things from your human mind as they may not make sense. So if you disagree with something, please move on with love. There's no reason to be mean to me or give me hateful comments. Um, you are more than welcome to resonate and leave love in the comments with me. But if you disagree, please carry on. You have that full right. Okay, beautiful. Well, today's session, I love this topic. Um, this was channeled about two weeks ago from, you know, a, again, a client session. But however, I always go in depth after I'm done the client session to find my own findings and what this truly means and so forth. So today's topic is actually money. And I know a lot of us are feeling uneasy, a bit shaken up because, you know, the economy's unrest. Um, I know many are getting laid off. And of course, not to mention all the natural disasters happening around the world is causing quite a lot of financial unease. And if you're in Canada, oh boy, where do we start with our housing market? It is beyond wild. It is crazy here with the housing market. So I definitely understand the anxiety that may be happening around money and finances um, when it comes to survival. Because I think the biggest component we don't realize is that the reason why our physical body starts to shake so much when we don't have enough money to pay for things is because money's energy is heavily attached to our survival need. And it's been like this for centuries and decades. So it may be from this lifetime as well, but it also may be lingering from a past lifetime where, you know, we were servants, peasants, or we were kings and queens that didn't have enough funds to, you know, support the kingdoms. And we were really on survival. And as you know, since our evolution of humanity, we've come quite um, better with surviving. We have systems in place. We're much more organized versus when we we're always on the run for, you know, just surviving and not knowing where our next meal is coming from. And we depended solely on the king or the queen to provide or, you know, um, there were no jobs and so forth. So there could be a lot of past life trauma that is stored in the body. So when it comes to finances in your current timeline, in your current life, you still get very, very shaky, even though you're very good with money. Okay. And this topic I can, oh my gosh, I could talk about it for days, how money, slavery, all these energies are really, really um, intertangled into one. And it makes our physical body shake into actual illnesses as well. So it's a very, very deep <laughs> and layered topic. But anyhow, keeping us on track, definitely going to discuss the beautiful message I got around the energy of money and why money does not like to be managed. Because again, going back to what I said previously, we're always, you know, trying to make ends meet, we're trying to survive. So we're managing our finances. But here's what the higher realm said to me about managing our money. Money is a free flowing energy. You cannot control it. It's infinite. I can have as much as I want and you can have as much as you want. So there is no really control over it. We just decide how much we want and the universe delivers because the universe never says no. It just says yes or maybe later. It never says no. Money does not appreciate being controlled. So as humans, when we are trying to manage our money, the money receives this as control energy and it becomes stagnant. Then we experience difficulty in maintaining and receiving money. How can you receive and flow your wealth is by changing your vocabulary around it. 
oh yeah, words that we use currently around money are from the slavery times from centuries and centuries ago that don't relate to our current timeline. As I said, we're not really struggling the way we were, you know, we're, we have longer lifespans now, you know, if we ever get on a ship, we're definitely going to make it. We're not going to drown in the ocean somewhere. Like we have evolved, but our vocabulary around finances has not which, as you know, words carry energy and frequency, which keeps us attached to slavery with money. So they're actually giving me an image. Sorry, they're giving me an image. It's like when we don't have enough money, we shake. And it's almost like we beg money. Like, you know how peasants used to beg kings and queens to, like, spare their lives? That's exactly how desperate we get with money. And who likes a desperate person? Nobody, including your money. <laughs> your money does not like you to be desperate for it. It wants to work with you and flow with you. And it's never ending. Okay, now getting back to the channeled message here. So you need to change your vocabulary around it. Instead of saying, I'm allocating $100 to my bills, say, say I'm allocating to my physical needs or choose another name for this category that is not triggering or associating with survival need. It does not have the, I have to energy attached to it. I have to pay my water bill. I have to pay my mortgage. You can be like, oh, I have, I'm going to allocate $1,000 for my beautiful home. You don't have to say mortgage because mortgage, debt, you know, all of that frequency comes through with the word and we feel it. Our spirit knows. Our spirit is much smarter than we think. It's our higher intelligence. So it picks up on the frequency of the word. So it immediately starts feeling shaky. It starts feeling like, oh, it owes something to somebody. And then you start feeling the lack emotion. Do you see how the words are really tied together with um, the lack, the survival, the desperation we feel around money, all of that? Anything in your life that feels I have to is the energy of slavery. You're acting out of force and unwillingness in order to remove slavery programming. Step one is changing the words and how things are labeled in your life. So when you do exchange money it is coated with love energy not control energy label all aspects of your life with love so anything currently you're saying because I do understand you have to be practical right like we do have to prep we have to feel empowered with our wealth we can't just you know mindlessly go blow it all right or you can, if that's your vibe. If you vibe and you do flow with your money that way, that's a relationship you have with your money. Absolutely. But talking about practicality and talking about the majority, how we want to feel prepped and empowered and feel like we always have more money than we need. Give your categories instead of bills, debts, give them better high vibrational words. So mortgage, what can you replace the word mortgage with or rent with? You can simply say, okay, I'm paying for my divine sanctuary because your home is your temple. It's your sanctuary. You can definitely label it that. If you pay, you know, a certain membership fee for the gym, instead of say, saying membership fee, you can be like, okay, I'm paying for my, my divine body. I'm paying for my beautiful sexy body or something like that right like make it uplifting anything that makes you feel like oh it's leaving it's lack it's a debt you want to get rid of that word okay because it's connecting you to slavery now if you want to completely cut cords with these vibrations from past lives and this lives where you feel enslaved not only to money but to certain relationships people places then you definitely want to seek out a um a healer a energy coach someone that can help you actually energetically remove this out of your life okay so that is the show today around money i'm sending you all so much love please remember to subscribe like and comment and let me know what else you'd like to hear from the record keepers as you know they're infinite and they're full of love wisdom and abundance for you all 
on that note, I'm signing out. And if you'd like to connect further with me, everything is linked in the description below. I am on TikTok, Instagram. I have a beautiful website that's currently being reconstructed, but you can find me under the same username, Connect with Gia. I love you all. Have a blessed day.